Hi there, this is Steve. This is Jeremy. We're the Alabama Gamers. Bringing you a BAM Box unboxing for October 2017. What's in the box? What is in the box? BAM, Bam is in the box. Oh, I like right. that. That's, this box is worth it just for that. All right, so October, what's in it? Let's see. And we really like the last box, so we're really excited for this. Very one. excited. Yeah. All right. Always with the black paper. Oh. Okay. Right and do the they, these guys have a theme? Uh, I, you know, I, don't, I can't remember. Yeah, it has a theme. I think the theme... You know what? I don't know that they have a theme. Uh, the the last box didn't seem very theme because it went from Star Wars and uh, uh, Defenders. All right. So... First thing up in this box here is uh, the dark dark matter dark matter props grim replica of one of the seven keys. So I don't know if it's from the show Grim or what. Steve, you might help me out on this mm -hmm. one. Yeah, I believe so. So I don't know. look. What we have here looks now. Like I've not watched the show, but that is pretty a cool. Neck, a necklace with like a switchblade key. Yeah, it something. almost looks like a butterfly knife, right? Oh, yeah, butterfly knife. What did I say? Switch player? Yeah, I meant butterfly knife. Yeah. So, but I don't know anything about it. I'm going to have to look at the box because I'm not a fan of I've never seen the show Grimm. Have you? Mm -mm. No, nah, it's it's more of a, a low-key show. It's not as popular as, say, like a Supernatural, yeah. things like that. I believe it's on NBC or may have moved from NBC. But it's really cool. I mean, it's a neat little thing. You got your key to a door here. really like that. So... It's a it's a nice little trinket. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's just lay that down so we don't mess up the chain on it. All right. Okay. So what do we got next? I'll get this patch here, and it is Fringe Division Department of Defense. So I'm from the TV show Fringe that was on a few years ago. I guess. I'm guessing that's what it is. So uh, if you didn't watch Fringe, it was a pretty good. Uh, sci-fi show that Fox did for a while. Uh, Josh Jackson was in it. I cannot remember the lady's name, but uh, they were really good. Uh, it was really good sci-fi. Leonard Nimoy made a, a. He came out of retirement to do episodes of that. So really good. To, uh, really good show. Check it out. I mean, really like it. So that's a cool patch, and not everybody's going to know what that's from. So like the patch. Okay. So next up is. Ba 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 ba. This is a thing. Mm -hmm. It's called a one-up card. And what it means is that they made, you know, I don't know, 10,000 of these pens, mm -hmm. right? However, they made only 250 of these other two designs. Mm -hmm. And if you get this card, that means something in this box is extremely limited edition. Ooh. I suspect it's this pen because it says uh, only 250 made. Mm -hmm. So this pen is limited edition. It's from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I don't know. I guess it's one of the bad guys. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Cool. Yeah. Uh, what up? Is I think it's an awesome idea. Instead of giving everybody the same thing, yeah. you know, you well, have some little extra. Yeah, yeah and there's a whole community, the bandbox community, where mm -hmm. they trade this kind of stuff back and forth or whatever. So excited about the pin. Yeah. All right. What are you doing? We got a tag. Land of Lincoln. I don't know what this is from. I think for some reason I think it's related to a horror film. I just can't place right. it. So we're we're definitely talking about Illinois. Um, I'm gonna give up on the cheap. Yeah, we'll do a little research on this because uh, this is different. This is something that, and I'm gonna feel bad if I do, if it is something, but it's a tag, so it's from a car. Is it from Christine? Because 1978, isn't that about the time? It's from Halloween. Halloween. Okay. Yes. So this is the tag. It was on the station wagon that he drove, uh, the ambulance, the station wagon ambulance, okay. that he drove to the hospital to kill what's her name in the hospital. So, not a lot of people are going to get this when you have, when you uh, no one's gonna put get that. that. There were two options. The other one was from the Evil Dead, oh. and it was a blue Michigan tag. So I wouldn't have got uh, that either. The I love outskirts Evil Dead. of fandom here. Yeah, so this is, this is unique is yes. what this is. Definitely right here. And it's, you know, it's a car tag. I mean, it's, in here, it's metal. Now, it's car tag. Don't put it on the back, but still cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, next up is, uh, oh, a limited edition print, and this is 189 of 250 of uh, Edward Scissorhands. Mm -hmm. Inside, 
uh, by the artist mm-hmm. uh, who is Steve McGinnis. Okay. Steve McGinnis. So uh, that's cool. Did you like that show? Uh, Edward, yeah. I still yeah. love that show. You mm-hmm. consider it uh, a Christmas movie? Mm-hmm. I do. Yeah. And again, we brought somebody from Syringe. The last box had some Sean Astin. That's right. Yeah. Box in there. This has got some one on one on there. So we've got another. They like to get you two. And this is from Gremlins. Oh, look at that. So, oh, nice. Yeah, I like this. This is a. And who signed that? Oh! It is from the guy who played Billy. Nice! Is that going? Yeah, so he, he actually signed this. So that is really cool. Uh, I love Gremlins going up. Another Christmas movie. Another Definitely, Christmas yeah. movie? That's right. Yeah, one of Faves. Kids watched it last year for the first time. They liked it all but one. But yeah, that is really cool. Yeah. It's signed during a private signing. So. Love that. That is great. You know, that is, that is, I think that's worth the box right there. Yeah. Yeah, because that's, that's childhood. There, I mean, these boxes are of good value, yeah. that's for sure. Love that. So, all right. Well, you know, at the end of the day, this box is not free and we pay for it out of our mm-hmm. own piddly little Alabama pockets. And so, we got to decide, is it worth it? All right. Is it worth it, right? So, let's kind of recap. What's it worth here? All right. So, let's start with a key from and Grimm. I saw it in the book. That is from the show Grimm. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is a butterfly knife keychain. Mm-hmm. Or the key. One of the seven keys. So, it's well made. You it, think? It, yeah, well, it, I think it's supposed to be like that, the way okay. it's done. Yeah. Uh, it does kind of come apart very easily. Mm-hmm. Um, but it is made out of metal. Okay. The chain is, of course, one of the cheap chains. That's, mm-hmm. It's going to be in a knot if you're not very careful with it. Um if you're a fan of the show, this is going to be worth something to you. Because we're not fans of the show, it's Nothing. not really worth that much to Nothing. us. So what do you think? We're going to say seven fifty. That's couldn't have been mm-hmm. myself. Okay. All right. So and then let's. Uh, that's that, it. That was what was in there. Okay. And then the tag. I like the tag, but it is kind of obscure. It's an obscure yeah. reference. You would so, have to know for sure. Yeah, I, I think it's a nice touch, but still, you're going to have to explain it to everybody, so mm-hmm. it also comes with a story. Yeah. Um, I think the tag's going to cost you five bucks. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm fine with that. Mm-hmm. The patch. Again, I think uh, it's... And you were right. That was from the show Fringe. Yeah. So it's, as well. it's a little dated, uh-huh. but you know, some of the you know, best stuff and sci-fi, things like that are. Mm-hmm. You know, some of it stays with us. So uh, I would say, what do we usually do? Patches about, Two f- about 55, somewhere in between there. Well, it's still about four for this. Okay. Yeah. Because it's going to be harder to find because it's not a, a current show. Yeah. And then we got our pen. And again, I like their pens a lot. So I'd say... And that is... So edition. they show... Yeah, yeah. They, so they showed um, mm-hmm. the pens and they've got... Buffy was the main pen, which really looks cool. And then there's two limited editions and we got one of those two limited mm-hmm. editions. And so... And there is a very active community uh, that wants these. Mm-hmm. Now, on and we the limited... Got the, the, yes, we did. Yeah. Uh, of the limited edition, there are one, which is one of 500 and one of only 250 and that's the one we lucked out. It's really got, cool, so. guys. Pretty sweet. Yeah, I like that. Um, so I'm gonna say more than we. I would definitely say more. Maybe so, seven fifty. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because the you know two hundred fifty sounds like a lot, but that's not a lot when it comes out to memorabilia no, stuff. No. Yeah. Yeah. Two hundred. There's only two hundred fifty of these made. And people think you know if you only got if there's only two hundred fifty if I got the rarest one mm-hmm. then I'll get the other two. They're not. You know, a lot of people are gonna will, will be willing to part with it. Mm-hmm. They don't think it's easy to get the other ones, right? Mm-hmm. So. And then we got the art. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And, and this is just beautiful. I mean, it's there's so much detail in this. I wonder what she drew. Does it say how she drew it? He. Sorry, it's Adam MacArthur. Um, again, like we did on the last art, to get something like this, mm-hmm. unless it's like a street artist or something mm-hmm. like that, and I doubt this person is. Uh, you're gonna have to buy a ticket to a show somewhere. Yeah. So I'm gonna say a minimum of twenty bucks. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe fifteen for that. Fifteen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, and yeah. th- this is a guy that you're gonna have to go to a con and see. Yeah. I mean, that's how that's this really got cool. signed. Uh, it's like I said, really cool. Love it. So it's gonna cost you the price of a mention. Depend upon what kind of con you go to. Mm-hmm. You're probably gonna have to go to a wizard con, something bigger. Yeah. Than uh. A little bit more, so I'm gonna say a minimum of 20, maybe up to 25 to 30 for this. Yeah, let's say 25. Mm-hmm. 
That's six point five. Love this. This this is absolutely my favorite thing out of this box this time. So. Okay, so I think the box is around thirty five, some in that neighborhood. I can't remember unfortunately, uh, but right now we look at sixty four dollars. So you're doubling your value, uh, plus you have a couple of items that you have an item one at least in particular that is extremely rare, uh, and so it's mm-hmm. definitely worth. Now all you gotta do is just find the person that knows what this means or that's okay with having obscure references, yeah. right? To They're okay it. explain it. Yes. Like, oh my God, it's from Halloween. Yes. It's I need not- this so I can mansplain it to my wife, right? Yeah. Very nice. All right, well, so what do you think? Another good box? I love it. I love the uh, autographs. I did not think that uh, reading about it that I was going to just fall in love with that, but uh-huh. getting that, like just a piece of my childhood there, yeah. But yes. When when they had they the the box that I saw had Tara Reed and it had a little plastic shark that you could have got from Shark Nato. Mm-hmm. And that was the one that sold me on the box. I thought I gotta try this, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm glad I did. I'm glad I stuck around and I look forward to getting more band boxes. Mm-hmm. All right, well, until then. Get us a lot. Subscribe, share it with your friends, guys. All right. Roll tide. Roll tide. Roll tide, baby.